Hi everybody, welcome once again to Douglas Abola TV, a station like no other, where we throw punches straight up your face, no sugar coating, no editorial restrictions, giving you the real deal so you can deal with it. Now let's get on with it. Well, today's topic is going to be talking about the politics of desperation and the politics of greed. I'm going to run a few clips um, right here. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Uh, it centers on uh, these elections that was done in Kenya. I think it was in this uh, Western Kenya, a place called Matungu. And uh, you saw the drama that happened. Let's just take a recap uh, with these videos and then I'll just get back right. Officer, 
It's not fair. Why are they cooking? 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 Wende, wende. Yes, tu wewe mmoja chukua. Mbona wanakoka bunduki? Mheshimiwa Kapondi. Mbona wanatoa bunduki? Na mbona amepaki kwa polling station? Kapondi, mheshimiwa Kapondi. Why is he doing? Atoka aende. Hata kuna kutoka wacha watu wetu wakuje. Yes, 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 all right i'm sure you've seen those clips very disturbing very annoying especially um you know very uh I don't know if you call it savage. I don't know what you want to call it, but that is definitely, um, you know, you're not moving forward. Uh, you're moving backwards in terms of progress. I've, I've, I've recently been talking about some of the videos that I've been posting or some of the videos that I posted earlier. Some of them are a year, a year ago, talking about these things. You know, politics in Kenya has become uh, a, a, a game of desperation and greed. Um, what politics in Kenya has become, it's become uh, a place where people who have lost everything or people who are not serious about uh, anything, uh, they're not good in their profession or people who just dropped out of school, this is the only area they can be able to access wealth. All right? This, this, this is what has become because politics in Kenya is associated with getting access to resources that are meant to um, help the people by taking advantage of those resources for selfish gain. And majority of the people, uh, the citizens in the country, they've internalized this. In fact, if you're a public official and you're in a position that you're not taking advantage and not stealing from uh, the, 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 the public coffers, people look at you like you're an idiot. Why are you doing the right things? Why are you moving according to budget? You know, why are you even fulfilling 80% of the budget? Yeah? You need to fulfill 20% or 30% of the budget. We need to steal the rest of the money. Because uh, Kenyans, as usual, 
they will always always come to you for help they always come to you for harambees we need to be out there doing harambees um doing all manner of manual things so that we can be able to be voted in next time but when it comes to delivering exactly what is important to the people and what is sustainable uh, in the community, that doesn't happen. So with this, with this election, you saw the desperation that was there. You saw the corruption. You saw the illegal electoral officials. You saw the money. You saw the bribery. You saw the fighting. You saw the intimidation. You saw the impunity. You saw everything. Uh, that is wrong with our country. And let me tell you, this is just a by-election. What, 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 what if, when it comes to real elections, which is 2022, what is going to happen? As you can see, it's getting desperate and desperate every day. And as politics is becoming the only way that, um, you know, failures can be able to get access uh, to public resources to steal so that they can gain wealth, it's going to get even uglier. And it, when people are going to get even desperate. And you're going to see a lot of deaths happening. And you're going to see a lot of destruction. And uh, this destruction is not only uh, in terms of um, the people who are fighting for those positions, but this destruction is also the destruction of the youth. Because the youth are poor, they're easily bought, they're not, they don't want to, to build a foundation for themselves, they don't want to build uh, something uh, to represent themselves so that they can understand themselves and they can move forward as a unit and take over um, you know, this country and be able to make sure that this country moves in the right direction. They are being bought, they are being um, put into different and divided into different segments, different political parties, different tribal uh, parties. And, you know, they're looking for that handout so that they can, they, can, they can make ends meet. And when they get that opportunity, they don't want to waste it. So this has also um, made sure that, you know, the future of the country is in jeopardy. Because we have an old uh, ruling elite class and the youth are lost. They don't know where to go. They don't know the direction. They, they don't have organizations that are serious, that, 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 that are well-formed <clears throat> so that they can be able to actually have, uh, you know, an ideology that they can adapt and uh, they have to know, have um, a way of recruiting people uh, into that ideology so that they can be able to have a force that they can move with and actually bring that change. So the youth are scattered all over the place. They're confused. And what is going to happen is 2022 guarantee the same old people are going to come back to power because the youth are not organized. What the youth are going to be doing, they're going to be foot soldiers for these individuals. Just a few of them are going to benefit uh, in terms of, you know, the bribery and the money that is spread around uh, during election. A few of them, just the friends, are going to get uh, a few jobs here and there from government. And the rest of the youth will go back uh, to their livelihoods and whatever they were doing and into their poverty for the next five years. That is what's going to happen. And as soon as the election ends... Um, if there's going to be post-election violence, it's going to happen. If it's going to be stopped, it's going to be stopped. And as soon as that is stopped, politics starts again for the next election, which is coming in the next five years. So this is the state of affairs in Kenya. It's politics of greed, politics of desperation, and it's taking us nowhere. It's not building our country. We don't have a vision. And people, you need to understand this, that you know the rest of the world is not waiting for you. You see, China is already in your country trying to take, care, take advantage of all the resources. And once they have these corrupt individuals who greed is on their mind, they will give them money. And, you know, those guys will sign funny deals. And by the time you realize, you know, this and this is gone, this is gone, we're in debt, we're in this and this and that. And you have to pay all that. And it's going to cost our future. It's going to cost our youth the future. This is what you don't realize. This is not a game. This is serious business. What these people are doing, playing games with politics, they're playing with your lives, they're playing with serious business. And this is really, really, really hurting the country right now. Nothing moves, nothing moves. It's politics every day, politics every night. The mainstream media is dead. It's owned by the same, same individuals who keep on bringing you the same, same stories of politics and who and who and who against who and who. Uh, is likely to be the president. You're not going to get informative stories. You're not going to get inquisitive stories. You're not going to get forums where you can distract, discuss for two or three hours youth affairs and how this country needs to go and the ideology that we need to adopt and what kind of punishment we need to actually uh, fulfill um, and actually bring forth for people who are engaging in economic crime, people who are engaging in bad governance, people who are not even worthy to stand uh, in public uh, for public seats what uh, measures are put in place so that we prevent these individuals. That is not being discussed. What is being discussed is who's going to be the next and people imposed on you. And uh, once you divide the people according to tribes and party lines, 
and all these other affiliations, uh, psychopancy and, you know, all these bribes. You know, now you have a confused, you have a confused country. And once you have a confused country, it's very easy to rule as a leader because now you can enforce force because there's no unity. There's no questioning. There's no one power that's coming asking all the questions. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Where's the justice? Why can't we have proper elections? Why can't we have an electoral commission that is comprised of individuals who have integrity and are able and transparent to do the job that needs to be done so that everybody does not uh, panic uh, whenever, you know, uh, tallies are being tallied because that is what happens and it's going to happen even in 2022. It's going to be the same old game. And, you know, what will happen will happen. We don't know what will happen, but I'm, I'm urging my youth uh, in Kenya right now, please galvanize yourself, bring yourself together, form these organizations in your different parts of the country and make sure that these organizations subscribe to one ideology so that you're all a group from different parts of the country. The future belongs to you. And if you haven't seen what has happened in Matungu and see this politics of desperation and greed, and bribery and corruption and impunity and, and and all this that is going on right now it's getting worse it's gonna get worse before it gets even worse if you can't change it right now 2022 is the litmus test if 2022 kenyan youth don't get it together you're not gonna get this country together ever trust me 2022 is the litmus test if you don't get this together and elect the right leaders the country is gone because the next, up to 22 and the next five years, if we still have the same individuals who are going to come into government, who've been in government doing the same things, and I told you once and time again, the opposition and the ruling party are one and the same thing. They're just two wings on the bird of corruption and impunity and bribery and corruption in Kenya. They're just opposing this side because they're not in government. And this side is opposing them because they're in government. But when this side is in government, the same other side starts opposing whatever is in government and these people interchange with each other different parties and they form alliances and just to rule you just to take advantage and rule you but they're friends don't be fooled by these individuals we need to take all these people out of these political seats we need as a youth to be able to be strong have reliable networks have reliable organizations have party we need to form a party that actually has an ideology that we can believe in because we want a better future for ourselves. Failure to do that, 2022, elect the same leaders, it's over. It's over. Because once, once those people are done, you're not going to have a country. You're not going to own anything. Everything will be sold. Everything will be privatized. You're not going to own a country. You're just going to inherit debt. And that is the time they'll say, I think now it's time for the youth to lead. Yes, we need to change. The youth should lead. And the old people will step back. Some of them will even die. Uh, will be dead by, 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 by that time. And you'll have nothing but to inherit but debt. Debt and a country that is dysfunctional. Then you have to build this you have to build this country again. Like you're bringing it up like you just got independence. This is what this elite class in Kenya has done since independence. They have messed up the country, they have destroyed institutions, and they continue to destroy institutions and divide the country and take all the resources. We need a change. The youth of Kenya. We need to stand up right now. If you mess around, 2022, have these same people that you're, that you're campaigning for, both in government and in opposition. If you have these same people in power, 2022, it's over. This is Douglas Ebola TV. Catch me on Instagram, catch me on YouTube, catch me on Twitter. Douglas Ebola TV, giving you the real deal so you can deal with it. See you then.